In the last video, we looked at adding a bibliography to our thesis using BibLaTeX. In this video, we're going to look at customising some of the opening pages. In the first video, we made a rather makeshift title page using the make title command and by using an include graphics command in the title command. Although this works, it doesn't give us as much flexibility as we may want. A much better way to do this is to use the title page environment. We'll do this in a separate tech file and then input it. The first thing we'll do is enclose everything in the title page in the centre environment so it's all aligned to the centre. Next we need to instruct LaTeX to leave a gap between the top of the page and the first line of the text. To do this we use the vspace command followed by a length. We also need to add an asterisk into the command to make sure LaTeX doesn't decide to ignore the command. Next we'll add a thesis title in bold font using the text bf command. To leave a gap between this and the next line of text we use the vspace command again, this time without the asterisk. Now we'll add in a subtitle followed by some more vertical space and then the author name in bold font. This concludes what we want at the top of the title page. The rest of the content we'll add at the bottom of the title page. To separate these two sections out we'll use the vfill command which will automatically add in the amount of vertical space needed for the content to fill the page. Next we'll add in a line of text to specify what degree the thesis is being submitted for. The double backslash is used to create a new line. We'll then add more space before adding in the university logo specifying its width as a fraction of the text width. Finally we'll add in some information about the university and the date. Now in the main tech file we can replace the make title command with an input command linked to our new title page. If we now compile the code we can see all the items have been correctly processed. However the text is quite small so we'll go back and change the font sizes. To do this, we use one of the sizing commands. There are 10 of these to choose from. From smallest to largest, they are tiny, script size, footnote size, small, normal size, large all in lowercase, large with a capital L, large all in caps, huge in lowercase, and finally huge with a capital H. Let's make the title as big as it can be using huge with a capital H. We'll then make the subtitle two steps smaller using large in capitals. When we use one of these commands, they affect all the text in its scope. Therefore, in its current state, all the remaining text on the page will appear in the size of the subtitle. We'll keep it like this for the author name and degree title, but we'll drop down one size for the university details and the date. We can also customise other pages, like the abstract. Instead of using an unnumbered chapter, we'll create a new tech file, customise the layout and then input it. At the top of this file, we need to change the page style to plain in order to stop the headers being added in. Now in a similar way to the title page, we'll add in some custom titles and then the abstract text. This is what it will look like added in. This concludes our series on writing a basic thesis. If you want to play around with the thesis we've created during this series, you can open the project in ShareLaTeX 
by clicking the link on screen now. If you've enjoyed this series, please do subscribe to our channel.